हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द लुइस स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सी एच थ्री एन थ्री विच इज अ केमिकल फॉर्मूला फॉर मिथाइल अजाइड समटाइम्स इट इज पॉसिबल दैट देर कैन बी मोर देन वन करेक्ट लुइस स्ट्रक्चर्स फॉर अ गिवन कंपाउंड दीज डिफरेंट लुइस फॉर्मूलाज आर कॉल्ड रेजोन स्ट्रक्चर्स इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू नोट यर दैट रेजोन स्ट्रक्चर्स आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर ओनली इन द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड द एटम्स कीप सेम कनेक्टिविटी एंड अरेंजमेंट For drawing the Lewis structure, let us count the total number of valence electrons. Here we have one carbon atom having four valence electrons, three hydrogen atom having one valence electron, and three nitrogen atoms having five valence electrons. That gives us a total of twenty-two valence electrons. Now, for the arrangement of atoms, we can have three possible resonance structures. Let us have a look at the first one. We will arrange pair of electrons between each atom for bond formation. Here, carbon has its octet completed. This nitrogen needs four more. This one needs four more, and the terminal one needs six more. So we will put two electrons between these two nitrogen and these two nitrogen atom that will result in the formation of two double bonds. We are still left with six more that we will assign on the terminal nitrogen. Let us look at the formal charges. Carbon, this nitrogen, and hydrogen. will have formal charge of 0 this nitrogen has formal charge of plus 1 and the terminal one has formal charge of minus 1 also if you didn't get this part of how and why did we calculate the formal charge please watch the video that is linked in the description box below let us move on to the next resonance structure we will put electron pairs for bond formation in between each atoms These two nitrogen needs four more, and the terminal needs six more electrons. We will assign this nitrogen four more electrons, and we will put four more between this and the terminal nitrogen. That will result in the formation of a triple bond. We are still left with two more, and the terminal nitrogen needs two more to complete its octet. So we'll assign it the remaining two. Let us look at the formal charges. carbon the terminal nitrogen and hydrogen will have formal charge of 0 this nitrogen has formal charge of minus 1 and this one has a formal charge of plus 1 let us move on to the third resonance structure we will arrange pair of electrons between each atom for bond formation as we did earlier here carbon has a complete octet these two nitrogen needs four more and the terminal one needs six more So we will put four electrons between these two nitrogen atoms that will result in the formation of triple bond and we are still left with six more that we will assign to the terminal nitrogen Let us look at the formal charges carbon and hydrogen will have formal charge of 0 this nitrogen has formal charge of plus 1 this one has a formal charge of plus 1 and the terminal nitrogen has formal charge of minus 2 These are the three resonance structures of methyl azide. For more such videos make sure to subscribe our channel and thank you for watching.